Okay. When last you left us, we were looting. Uh, we probably at some point need to go back, talk to people in town. Find out if the youngest of the brothers is running that warehouse or not. At the moment, I don't really care. Uh, yeah, because I got plenty of inventory space. So, maybe I'll do some tidying up type of organizational stuff off camera, but you, general viewer, I know you are anxious to see the story continue. So, let's encounter worthless random enemies. A man trap and a trap. It's a man trap! That's another obligatory internet meme thing. It's an eyeball! The Aquatillians can't repel weirdness of that magnitude. Wah, 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 wah. It's a trap and a dragon. That you're gonna get old pretty quickly, but you know, folks, it's preventing me from singing Bee Gees music. Let's go and no way. There's two. Uh, the two eyeballs have not seen me yet, so they're really not very good eyeballs. Oh, jeez, this is gonna drive me up the flipping wall. It's a trap. You cannot run. Star destroyers are not engaging us, they're just preventing us from escaping. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a very nice little area. I just don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. It's three boars. Kill the boar. Start a racial riot in South Africa. Jeez. Oh, Alright, so my little screen capture software has a counter that displays at seconds. So it kind of doesn't help you with the minutes, but now I can tell 120 seconds. So I'm two minutes into this video, and um, I've encountered like 800 enemies and gotten nothing done. I did, however, defeat Capu. He said he was going to live in peace and whatever, but he was lying. Kodo! A wretched hive of scum and villain. This is a little town of Kodo. Oh, little town of Kodo. You're rich, or you're f due to your fame as blacksmith. Gerba, well, let's see what kind of weapons they got here. It's a flame. Let's look, it's a famous blacksmith. Argonta's skill is remarkable. He can do anything at his age. Mumble mumble. I don't want to make things like pots or knives. Are you another one of these jerks that we have to recruit for our town at some point? Your town is being populated by jerks that we've recruited over. Nothing? I went all the way up there. Nothing. Do 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 do. The town of Kodo. I don't know how many more towns there are in the game, but um, my little screen on the uh, teleport around to different towns thing is going to be full soon. Wild Claw for Leona. Power King. I could buy a Power King, save myself a trip back. Broad Sword. <laughs> Warhammer. I wonder if the Wild Claw or the Broad Sword are better for. Um, Well, let's find out. Warhammers, for the people who can afford Warhammers, they're almost certainly better than uh, Roared Sword. And you know what? I will buy a Power Cane. And I just saved Sid, so why not get a Wild Claw and be able to see what's going on with everything? Oh, you know, I should have asked her to explain, or him. One sharp hit to one enemy. No special effects. Pretty good percentage for uh, Alright, so let's see. Uh, Leona, you have yo yo. I can't imagine that's your best weapon. Uh, so your power goes up by four. Well, yeah, it really is the broad sword. The broad, it's a broad sword. It's meant to be used by broads, so um, that increases by one. That increases by three. I'm pretty sure the broad sword was uh, her best bet. Commando Cody, you are going to equip the Warhammer. So you can be like an RPG nerd. You are going to equip Power King and uh, save us a trip back to old dungeons I don't feel like dealing with. And you are going to go with a Warhammer. And we'll sell that claw, and I'm not too worried. I mean, I'm somewhat wasteful of money, but you know, look at my gold right now. None of this stuff really makes a difference. And it all came from ridiculous amounts of leveling. 
Oh, I still have the ticket. So I need to go sell that when I get back into town. And I never got rid of the loincloth because I just like the idea that they're carrying a loincloth around with them. <laughs> Here, Tina, carry my loincloth. Uh, thanks, Avatar. Small, small but very pleasant. It's actually bigger than the stupid, like, frozen town of Gyarados land. Oh, it's the back of your head for a minute. I thought this game had a black person. Michael Jackson doesn't count. Found Moondrop. See, folks, see? It has been at least an hour's worth of me looting in this game video overall, but it's all made worth it by that Moondrop. The knife Gonta made for me cuts very well, but he doesn't want to make knives or pots. He only wants to make weapons of mass destruction. Leona is a weapon of mass seduction. Hoo-hoo. <sighs> Is there going to actually turn out to be any reason to come to this town? They want me to cultivate this big field alone. What? You are with Vaz? Great. He could do this field in a day easy. Oh. Zoo Desert is too south. Go south. Lagoon Town in the Oasis is nice. Try to visit there once. Try to visit at midnight. And that way you will be able to go, Midnight at the Oasis. You shouldn't go to the Zoo Desert. Many dangerous traps right there. There are traps! There's an inn. There's a dog. Grr. Bow wow. Bow wow wow. Yippee yo, yippee yay. Bow wow, yippee yo, yippee yo, yippee yay. I do not really care about this inn. I don't really care about this town so much. This town is rich due to. Yeah. Maybe you sell armor because the actual place that says it's an armor shore store doesn't sell armor. Neither do you. We're gonna have to make do with whatever the heck armor it is that I'm wearing right now. Don't remember. Gone to the blacksmith can duplicate in a weapon fast. He's a genius. Yeah, okay, so Gone to the blacksmith is clearly gonna be important in the plot at some point, but, um, not yet. A short time ago, my friend Uncle Xave came to see me. He asked me to record your adventure for him. By the way, do you want to record your adventure so far? But Uncle Save gave me explicit instructions! You will tell me of your adventures, Avatar. Avatar, do you know where you're going? Oh good, I took a step and I encountered eyeballs. Well, boars. Kill the boar. And I took another step, which I didn't mean to take, and... Uh, you know, this is like a big open area, and I've got a hunch, just a hunch, not based on anything, that the uh, Star Shrine for Cody is probably around here somewhere. Because they tend to show up in places that have lots of uh, green trees and stuff, and places you can wander around and get lost, but... Nothing going on plot wise. This is getting old. Okay, come on. Alright, so nothing there. Maybe this is exploring best done when I'm not recording. Oh well. Two boomers. I'm gonna be mildly annoyed if it turns out that the Star Shrine is nowhere around here, but. Oh well. It's a trap again. It's more traps. The traps just keep on coming, folks. This looks promising. What's going on over here? It's more and more and more and more traps. Traps and traps and traps and traps. Yeah, there's gotta be something. They wouldn't have it. Or is this where I came from? Yeah, that's probably where I came from. Crud. Gaboo. It's blowing gas! Jeez. Come on, something be here! There's gotta be something. Yes, there we go! And that looks exactly the right size to be a star shrine. Is it a star shrine? Let's find out, folks. And there we go. That's what I'm talking about in the next video. Cody's going to become whatever the heck you are after your opinion. I'll see you then.